Greetings. So we all know the iPhone 5 is vastly technologically superior to these old antique desk phones, but I have to wonder how they stand up from a perspective of audio quality. So I'm thinking we should do a test. And for that, I'm going to need a helper. So this is Les, and he's been a follower of my channel for quite some time, and he offered to come help me out on this video. Uh, nice to have you on the channel, Les. Nice to be here, David. All right, so what I'm going to need you to do is take this antiquated telephone here and take it into the other room and close the door, and I'm going to have you say some words on it. Okay. What would you like me to say? How about the first words ever spoken on a telephone by Alexander Graham Bell? Do you know what he said? I do not. He said, Mr. Watson, come in here. I need you. Sounds good. All right, well, let's get on that then. In order to test this, I had to design some cheap but effective devices to help me capture the sound. I needed a way to create a good seal on the phones, much like the acoustic coupler modems of the past. For the antique phones, I modified a plastic fruit bowl so that my microphone could make a good seal and then laid it on a piece of foam during the recording process. For the iPhone, I just used a ring of duct tape around the microphone and pressed it onto the iPhone's speaker. Then I had Les go into another room and close the door while I recorded both phones. Here are the results. Mr. Watson, come over here. I need to see you. Mr. Watson, come over here. I need to see you. Mr. Watson, come over here. I need to see you. Mr. Watson, come over here. I need to see you. Okay, so we've heard the samples, and they don't sound quite as different as I thought they were going to sound like. Uh, what, did, what did you think about it? I was surprised, too. Um, I expected the analog phone to sound better, but um, really it didn't sound a whole lot different, and I kind of gravitated towards the sound of the iPhone, personally. The sound of the iPhone it had a little bit uh, more dynamic range, I think, in the, um, the bass and the treble. And uh, now, to be fair, the iPhone had a good reception at the time we were doing the video, and you know you don't always get that. And that's one advantage of the analog phones is they tended to give you the quality very reliably and consistently, which uh, you know the, the any cell phone uh, is not always consistent depending on where you're at. But uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, I was I was kind of surprised. I thought there would be a, a bigger difference in quality, and I was really expecting the analog phone to come out better. But now that I've done the video, I kind of got to say that uh, I, I think the iPhone is um, it actually sounds pretty good in comparison. And uh, Definitely, especially when you consider the speaker size difference and, yeah. you know, everything like that. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, um, I'll put down in the comments uh, what you think, which one you thought sound better. And um, I guess until next time, we'll see you later.